Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is gonna be a get ready with me while I talk about the good, the bad, and the super ugly about being in your 50s. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so this is just a chatty video and that's just kind of what I'm gonna be chatting about. These are some things that I've noticed, particularly as I inch my way to the 51 year mark in September. And some of the things that I guess are my concern you might be like really that's so weird you shouldn't you shouldn't be concerned about that but um, after the video after you watch it and you're my age group or older or even if you're near my age group or whatever drop a comment and tell us some things that you've noticed or that you are concerned about um, or worried about uh, when you get to be my age or older let's just have a conversation so yeah I would definitely appreciate that now with all of that being said let's get into this look all right so let's get this party started I already have my skincare on and y'all I've tried a or I'm trying a primer by Elemis this is their superfood glow priming moisturizer you all know I don't do primers so this is the primer that I'm using it has a bit of a glowy type of look to it let me swatch it this is it I'm not sure if you can see how it's looking on the skin so anyway I got that done and I have my brows done so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, carve my brows out I typically carve them out with my a lighter concealer or a lighter foundation that I have or whatever but this time I'm going to use my foundation to carve the top and the bottom out and I'm just going to use my Too Faced 24 hour foundation. So anyway let's get into the first one and I guess you know I don't I have heard women uh, say this before you know but I guess a bit of a downside or maybe a not so fun side would be just kind of not really expecting compliments anymore and this may sound really crazy but it's like if I get a compliment or if someone says oh you look nice or, or if someone flirts with me or or whatever you know I'm kind of like you talking to me <laughs> whereas when I was younger you know I pretty much expected a lot of that and of course I got more of that you know I don't get a lot of my husband yes but I'm just talking about from other people but yeah I just that's just something that I don't expect to get I don't expect to or just assume that automatically when I get ready to go somewhere you know that uh, someone will say oh you look nice now is that to say that when I go somewhere I don't think that I look nice you know no I'm not saying that I just don't that's just not something I expect and when I say something I expect I'm talking about uh, like of the opposite sex saying oh you know you're you look attractive or or hitting on you whereas when you're younger that's something that like I just said before that's something that you get so much more of you get it more frequently and you know I can just kind of remember you know tiring of it and that's with any young girl you know what I'm saying any any young girl is gonna get uh, compliments but I don't know if some people would even care about that but that's just something that I noticed you know since I have particularly got uh, turned 50 um, you know it's just not a lot of that going on anymore and you can't help but think well goodness do I look that bad well you know how you look because you have eyes but that kind of stuff um, just doesn't come like it used to now do I sit up and be like oh I wish or I want no I'm definitely not saying that that's just something that I noticed you know and it's nice when you go out uh, uh, to get compliments to get compliments from anybody you know is a nice thing and I'm not talking about again compliments from my husband but yeah drop a comment down and let me know like if you're in your 50s or above if you understand what I'm talking about or if you know where I'm coming from or for that matter if you are in my age group 50 plus and when you go out you know you know you just get hit on a lot you get a lot of compliments they just come to you as frequently as they did from when you were younger drop a comment I'd love to hear about that one because uh, it you know I'm, 
I don't know. <laughs> right, so next I want to talk about um, the body and how, you know, when one thing breaks down, everything breaks down. And when you hear people talk about, you know, getting older, a lot of people, you know, they may say, oh, it's so good, it's so that. You know, especially when you hear videos of it, uh, about it on YouTube. But for me, <laughs> the part that is super ugly for me is like my health. And a lot of you all probably already know that I have an autoimmune disease and I have rheumatoid arthritis and it is, um, it's, I have to take a, a disease modifying medication via um, IV once a month. You know, because if I don't, you know, my situation gets so bad to where I can't even move. You know, it gets really, really bad. I've talked about this in so many old videos, but it's like not only that, I've recently had a, a hearing loss in this ear. Okay, it just suddenly, you know, for no reason, suddenly, suddenly. And it's just um, kind of like other issues that I have with my body that are particularly annoying and that have that have come since I've turned 50. Now, is that to say everybody's like that? No, I'm just talking about my own experience. You know, um, I was just never warned that, you know, when stuff kind of starts breaking down, it's just kind of like it's spiraling out of control. Could it be worse? Definitely. You know, is there somebody else out there with, with a situation that's uh, more difficult than yours? Definitely. You know, but there was no like warning about this coming. And you know, I try to kind of combat a lot of things by, you know, the lifestyle that I live, um, what I eat, of course, what I put on my skin. Not do I have everything perfect and tied together and all that? I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying is. You know, I do try to be choosy with my food intake, you know, what I drink. I don't drink. If I do drink, it's like every blue moon. It's not anything all the time. Particularly when I do, it aggravates my condition. So it's something that my body doesn't like anyway. So that's not something that I engage in. Now, when I have times where uh, if I eat poorly, I'm definitely going to feel it, okay? The pain will be, it can get unbearable. So, you know, of course I just try to keep a lot of that at bay by trying to either not eat as much or watch what I eat. But for me, that is definitely like the super ugly about getting older, you know? And everybody's not gonna have the same type of issues that I have. I, I, pr I pray that my kids don't, you know, but autoimmune disease, that runs in my family. So, you know, who knows? We'll see. All right, so the good, the super good about 50 is the ability to have the word no mastered. And I've talked about this before. You know, saying no, you know, that, that can be a little bit hard for some folks. It really never has been uh, for me because of uh, my mother. Uh, she's taught me forever. If you don't want to do something, don't do it, no matter what it is. <laughs> you know, she, and it's probably, I don't know. But yeah, the ability to master the word no, and then not only like have it mastered, but then feel good about it. You know, if you don't want to do something, the ability to say, no, I don't want to do it, and you move on, that's a good feeling. Because, you know, a lot of us, well, I ain't gonna say a lot, because I've never done the research behind it, but some of us, some people can be people pleasers. And if you are a people pleaser, you know, you can get like kind of caught up in that, you know, trying to please everybody and the people come and want you to do this and want you to do that. And no, I just, mm -mm, no, negative. I'm not, no, uh-uh. So that is one thing that is like super good about 50. And I guess it kind of ties in to the next one. Um, you know, just kind of doing what you want to do and actually enjoying your decision. And I guess you could just kind of call that, um, I guess, a place of peace. 
because a lot of times, you know, in the past, I could get caught up, you know, just kind of doing stuff, but not feeling good about it or knowing that I probably shouldn't do it or I should say no, just whatever the situation. But to just kind of do what you want to do and feel good about it. And that goes down to anything, you know, a lot of times, you know, we'll hear people saying that, uh, oh, you're too old for this. You're too old to wear this. You're too old to do this. So you can't do that. Um, particularly in makeup there's a lot of you know oh you know the mature woman shouldn't do this and I get it you know we you know you don't want to look a certain way you know well some people might not but you know if you choose to then what's wrong with it like who is it hurting because at the end of the day when you look in the mirror you're the one that has to be happy with whatever it is that you look like you know because you could follow you know the norm or what's expected but if it doesn't make you happy then what's the purpose like what what good is it if it doesn't uh, make you feel good or you know so just the ability to make whatever decision in life it is that you're gonna make to feel good about it and happy about it and at peace you know and that's one thing that I love about actually getting older turning 50 um, I absolutely love that I'm just you know just being this age I just it's it's a peaceful type of feeling for me very peaceful and of course I think a lot of that peace just kind of stems from you know being confident in your decisions and not caring. Do it what you want to do. Living your life exactly how you want to live it. All right, so next up I want to talk about, and this is kind of like, I guess a, the ugly part of it. And you know, I would really love to know you all's thoughts about this, but you know, as I get older, I, you know, there's a fear that I have that, you know, once you get too old, you know, who's going to take care of you? Or, you know, just the just the idea of being a burden to someone you know that 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 is a fear that I have and you know you can have children but that doesn't mean they're gonna take care of you <laughs> that doesn't mean that they're gonna be there for you that doesn't mean that at all now am I saying that about my kids uh, no I'm not saying that about my kids but you know you need you know as you're as you age or when you're older you know, let's say you are you become medically fragile, okay? Well, you're gonna need somebody to take care of you outside of your kids. Like, but let's say you have to go into a nursing home, like I was saying, and you know, let's say your kids live in another state. I don't know, okay? And for you have to you you live wherever it is you live. You know, until your kids can actually come there to see about you. You know, you're, you, you're there with whoever is in that nursing home or whatever taking care of you. And I've just kind of seen horror stories with people who live in the community about abuse and stuff like that. And that I just don't want to be a burden to anyone. Nobody. That's like a fear that I have. And I've talked to my grandmother about it. She since passed. She lived to be 101 years old. Yes, I said 101, but you know, she was like, oh, you shouldn't be worried about that. You shouldn't be fearful of that, yada, yada. You know, she would always tell me that and it would make her frustrated, but that's one thing about growing older. Like, you know, and I'm okay with, you know, once, you know, nobody lives forever. I'm, I'm okay with that, but I'm just saying, if I become me medically fragile, what, what happens, you know? Now, if I knew that uh, for a fact, you know, one of my kids, depending on where they are, or they were able to take care of me, but then that goes back to what I just said, that you now become a burden on someone. And that's just something I don't want to do. I don't want to be a burden on anybody. All right, so this next one, I think you all may kind of laugh at, <laughs> but this is like a particular thing. And... Um, I've, I've really felt this or noticed this lately but how many of you all who are 50 and above like me still get carded 
Now for a long time, me and my husband, we would get carded anytime, like if we went out to have a drink or something like that, never fails, get carded. And it wasn't up until probably um, our 40s um, when my husband stopped getting carded. <laughs> and I know you're like, Bridget, are you serious? That, you know, are you serious? Yes, I know, I know. But I low key feel some kind of way. It's like that ship has clearly, clearly, clearly sailed. And I know you all might be thinking, oh, you're so vain, you're so this, but I don't know. It's just kind of a trip. These are just things that I've noticed um, uh, since 50. I don't know if I'm just more aware of it now. Because truth be told, none of this is anything that anybody should be concerned about you know all right so i think i'm finished with the eyes and i'm hoping my lashes are not crooked <laughs> so i'm not going to use a powder to set this foundation i think this is a matte this Too faced foundation i think this is a matte foundation because uh Because it feels kind of on the drying side and that was even with using uh, this primer and this is supposed to be a moisturizing primer I don't know for some reason I felt extra extra dry okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about the last one and <laughs> this one when I tell you all this one you're gonna be like why are you really worried about that I don't know, I just kind of feel like there is, um, I don't want to say a need, a desire, to a desire to kind of be like I was when I was younger as far as my size. It seems like here lately, my weight has just been going up and up and up and up and up, even when I exercise. But I do know some of the problem, I take steroids, well with my medications, uh, steroids are mixed in. So, and that's every month, so I'm going to, next time I go to my doctor, I'm going to see if she can change it, because this is getting out of hand, so, 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 <clears throat> out of hand. Plus, you know, it just kind of looks better when you're in shape, as opposed, you, you, it looks better and you feel better, and I hope this lipstick isn't too dark. But yeah, you look better, you feel better. And when I say feel better, I'm talking about in regards to, uh, you know, my body. Because with me, that's kind of like still a difficulty uh, getting up and, uh, excuse me, getting in and out of my car mainly because it sits so low um, or either I could just be used to driving uh, my expedition for so many years you know and then going back to a car because I just really feel it when I go somewhere so I just kind of feel like if I was in better shape or not so heavy I would feel better you know overall so yeah I got this lipstick applied but I think that's pretty much it it's just a few things that you know, I've just kind of been thinking about here lately, especially uh, since in, let's see, in September I'll be 51. So, yeah, hopefully things will get better by then as far as my health, you know. Um, I'm praying that it will. And I forgot to spray. Let me spray some setting spray. Because my face is like really dry. Alright, so that is pretty much it. This is the final look. So yeah, let me know down in the comments if you're in my age, uh, around in my age. Just kind of things that you've noticed, good or bad. Drop a comment, we'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.